a new boss was added on this Minecraft server. And to summon it, you need some of the rarest items this game has to offer. To get these items, you can either kill the very strong custom bosses, or you can search for these meteorite structures and find them yourself. Welcome to TavernMC.net, an amazing Minecraft server with custom items, armor, and so much more. And also, if you log on right now and do slash vouchers redeem B33 and taken, you can get my custom hat free of charge. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tavern. In the last video, I killed that Soul Knight boss, and we got a one Azurite stone. Since then and during then, a few things have happened. I lost my helmet and my boots. I got a couple new tools. My base got raided. Uh, I think maybe I leaked the coordinates. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I don't even know what to do with this. Uh, I think maybe we could start by getting all this wood back. I grabbed a couple things from all this stuff. I have this set home, so I'll just go create another one, and then we'll be good. Let me just put everything I need in here. Is your right stone included? And then we can take some fireworks too. And then you know what? We're also going to our, our ender chest. Grab the elytra, and then um, get out of here. I do want um, just temporarily some of this stuff. And another thing, I can fly with these boots, which is really nice because they have uh, they have wings on them. It's pretty cool. It does kind of suck that we're gonna have to give up this base though. Go find another one, go make another one. Let's just RTP out. Oh, this is really pretty, pretty good. Maybe I'll make a tree house actually. That could be cool. Oh yeah, perfect, right here. I haven't made a tree house base before, okay. fly around here and see if there's okay more iron perfect just a little bit and then we need some coal as well coal perfect all right uh, oh that's scary all right throw it on the furnace let's cook us up some stuff do you use feather client because oh boy i got some for you i've kind of said this a lot at this point but feather client and i have partnered up and together we released the been taken fedora hat which i'm wearing now and the been taken night sky cloak which i'm also wearing now you can get both of these at feathermc.com slash been taken or if you want to get it for free you can type in the comments hashtag been taken feather for a chance to win the hat and cloak free of charge anyways i thought i'd just let you know it's free stuff everyone likes free sh back to the video all right we got some iron ingots and we have some coal as well, which we can use to craft some torches. I keep doing that and it's not the right recipe. Perfect, there we go. Okay, so, put that there. Oh, we already, I was gonna say, it's kind of weird that we don't already have a crafting table. All right, put this here. Um, I probably shouldn't be focusing on how my base looks when we need to do other things, but you know, it is it is what it is. All right, we gotta be stylish. That's what I'm saying. There's no point if you're not stylish. Okay, we got 27 lanterns. That should be well more than enough. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, and then I would like to create a little enchantment area. Okay. Bang, okay. All right, base 2.0 is done. I'm gonna reset my home here, set home, home three, just to make sure that this base is actually gonna, uh, you know, be here. I can come back. Uh, so now I would like to, um, number one, make some more chests if possible. Um, okay, that'll do. That'll do. Yeah, that looks good. It looks really good. And you can access all of them as well. So that's uh, that's pretty nifty too. And you know what? I'm kind of going off on a tangent here, but we might as well add a crafting table there. Okay, and then we're just going to go over and we're going to get um, all of my stuff that I have. And we're going to bring that um, that back to where it belongs. Okay, and then another thing I'd like to do, um, which I don't do very often, is actually claim the base. I never do it. I don't know why. I really should. It's kind of dumb not to. I, I always, like, don't give a crap. Um... But I, 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 it's something I should just definitely do. Um, I think it's a 
Golden shovel is how you claim things. Um, there we go. Okay, I can claim up to 5,875 more blocks. That should be more than enough. And then I think I'll also kind of need a stick, too. So we take a stick, or four, put all that stuff back, and then just kind of... I can fly. I don't know what I'm doing. Kind of just jump off, all right? And then we will start, like, way back here. And then you use right-click again in order to do that. Okay, so we've got, uh, created a claim. Yeah, agree you guys. Here's my coordinates. Come get me. I can't ever... <laughs> Right click anything with this Kasongi sword. It's kind of annoying as hell, actually. You know, another thing, I would like, um, I'd like to get some, some, oh, okay, goodbye. I'll be right back. Okay, anyway, um, it's time to get, uh, Berserker again. We've got uh, a couple Berserker things. I put, um, the chest plate in my under chest. But we've got, we've got a Berserker chest plate and leggings. Um, so we just need a couple more things. So, let's RTP out and get to the nether. Perfect. And we can fly, which is really, really useful. Let's just drop down. Oh, crap. Okay, I for totally forgot. Trench is actually disabled on this server right now. There was some sort of dupe glitch going on with Trench. Because of that, they kind of shut it down. Like, the enchantment doesn't work anymore. Broken. And uh, I can't mine as many blocks at a time as I would be able to. Which kind of sucks, because now it's going to be super hard to find Berserker. But we're going to keep going, and we're going to try and find it. It's just simply way less efficient. Like, there's no comparison between regular stuff and, uh, and, and Trench. Trench is just goaded, I guess. No, no. Could we maybe use TNT? I've tried that before. And I think the problem with TNT is it works for ancient debris mining because ancient debris has high blast res resistance. But Berserker Rubelite doesn't. Rubelite can just break. So you could lose the Rubelite. And also you're not fortuning it, right? Which fortune is, is, is godly when you combine it with Rubelite. Like it, it helps so much. So I feel like it's just not the best idea, you know? This is going to take probably a couple hours. Hello. I was just about to say there's nothing. We have a uh, first bit of rubelite, which is very shocking considering that I don't have, um, uh, whatever. Does this not have fortune? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Okay, that's not good at all. That really sucks. Okay, we only got five because that pick does not have fortune. That makes things very difficult. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one will be our bulk guy, all right, because it takes less durability and it's got mending. And then the other one's gonna be our, our rubelite guy. All right, I gotta make sure that I mine it with this. Okay, that's 14 right there. So we got nine from that vein. Not bad, not bad. Actually, you know what? That is enough for, for boots and, and a helmet and anything else I want, uh, to be honest. So if we go to home three, okay, there we go. I guess I did home, home, home three, which doesn't make sense. So let's do boots. Somebody mentioned me in chat. Um, and then we do a helmet. And then that should be all we need. Uh, we can also enchant anything. I think I took some lapis from it. Yep, lapis right there. Um, I've got 5,000 levels, so I really can enchant with anything I want. I don't need any of this rubelite, so we'll just AH sell for, say, $200,000. Full rubelite. Okay. Um, and then what else? Enchant all this. Depth Strider 3. Yep, that'll do. Resp 3. Oh, that's really good. We got good uh, twice in a row. Now, it is simply a matter of um, enchanting everything, um, which is it's gonna take some time i'll be honest with you um what is this view it's gonna take a little bit to enchant everything with with all the um with all the custom enchants that i want so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to take a little bit of time with that all right um these enchantments are good to go and we have a uh, full berserker again but there's one more thing right there's always one more thing but there really is one more thing i don't know where it is it could it's just okay there we go um if we go over to AH, people might not have bought it. Nope, nobody bought it, which is super sad. But we've got smithing armor templates. Um, and so if we build a little tiny smithing table, or is that what it's called? Smithing? I think it's it. Yep, smithing table. We build that, and we put it like, I don't know, here. I don't really care. Take out this stuff. We grab a gold ingot or two, which we should have eight. Separate, separated ones that aren't in block formation. And if we take this, and then we take this, it looks super good. The, the silence and the gold on the Berserker gear looks awesome. 
So now if we uh, take this 58 and we just sell it for $50,000, we should also, by the way, we should have like 500, yep, $545,000 is what we have uh, in, in the account. Okay, uh, that's pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Hold on, I just took a screenshot with this guy and he's giving me something here. Wow, okay. All right, big shout out to Masked Wolf. That was super nice of you. All right, looks like we don't have any more room on this pickaxe here. It's not looking bad though, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I th still think this one's a little better, but this one actually has Fortune 3. So, yeah, I'll just use this from now on. Thank you, Masked Wolf. Let's put this one away. Perfect. Okay. Uh, does it have mending? It doesn't have mending. F uh, that's not good. I'm gonna have to put mending on. This is, I think this one's still gonna be my bulk one, but I'll make this one my mining um, uh, rubelite one. Not that we need any more rubelite. You know, I've just kind of realized that, but still, whatever. It's important to have good pickaxes. Forgot I, oh, I forgot again, I can fly. All right, so at this point, it's time to go and track down those meteorites. All right, I've come to spawn because the first step, I think, is going to get, um, is going to find that, is going to find Ezekiel, which is the second boss that I need to kill. I guess we have one. That's not bad. But I would like, I'd like more, right? Because I know I'm going to get popped at least a couple times during this. There's no way I'm not going to. It would be nice to have several. I remember the um, the Soul Knight was in the ocean. I don't know where where the other guy is, um, but we, we better just look around. I kind of forgot I can, I always forget that I have the ability to fly with these boots on. It's kind of crazy. Um, it's a little, it's a little overpowered. I'll be honest, I kind of wish that they made it so there's like a timer, because like I can just, I can go around this is what I can do right now. I can just search around like this just forever, right? Never, never having to set a foot on the ground looking for this, this thing. Honestly, it'd be kind of cool if it were behind the tavern letters. I kind of highly doubt it is though. Little pit down here. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, this has to be it. There's, hold on. I, I, I think, I think we're going to see like a little portal swirl. That's what the last one was. Yep. Okay, this is it. This is the portal room for Ezekiel. We found it. And I think it's I think it's right behind the letters. Like I was saying that'd be cool. Arrows, yeah, this is definitely it. I say we just go for it. We can always just slash spawn out of here or or whatever. It looks very similar. Can I just fly like around this guy and, and kill him? It looks very similar to how the the uh, the Soul Knight area looked only it's red and there's fire he's not here um i think we're gonna have to wait for him to spawn that's kind of how it was on the last one as well what the fuck is that that's like some sort of anime thing right there come on really oh god oh god oh my god okay what was that what was that i don't know where Whatever that was left. Oh, okay. Is what? What? That didn't. What? I, what? Every now and then I'll say something. And it just doesn't make sense. Like, okay. I like combine sentences and it makes zero sense at all. Okay. 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 It's just not possible. Every time. Every time I go in. I almost die. Okay, we're gonna go for it. Okay, okay, okay. I did a little bit of damage there. We're kind of doing good. All right, ready? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, that's it. I don't have any more. I have one totem left. I think that's it. I lost my chest plate. I bear, I'm on the verge of losing my boots. I won't be able to fly anymore. Jesus Christ. This one is way harder. Then the soul knight. Oh my god. Okay. We're gonna have to do uh home home three and just retreat. I think that's it. I think we're done. I don't think I can kill that boss as it is right now. That's terrifying. Wow. This is rough. This is a lot of work. I don't even know like how to do this really. Okay, okay. So forge an entirely new set of armor, and then I might have to buff my stats up a little bit. Because regeneration is pretty low, health is really low. Luck is pretty low. Wisdom is low. Toughness is all right. And strength is really high. Um, you know what? As well, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mine for Warden Gear just a little bit. Maybe get a couple, a uh, couple pieces. But we can also kill the Warden Boss. Because I'm so strong right now, 
Not quite strong enough to kill Ezekiel, but stronger than the warden boss. I could probably kill it pretty easily, provided that I have the right gear. So I might like substitute some, I might get like, like a chest plate and then go get, um, like replace everything else with netherite as well. Obviously we're gonna need to repair this too. You know, this really isn't working very well. I've lost a lot, a lot of coverage now that Trenched is unavailable on this server. So I think we need to go with a different approach. That's our first little bit of skulk. Let's use the fortune pickaxe. Okay, we only got one. Just do with leggings, maybe? I don't know. I mean, it's not that bad, right? Like, four again. That'll work right there. Okay. Um, and then we can add mending, too, uh, which is good. We want mending for sure. Now it is time to kill the warden boss. So to do this, we're going to have to do slash warp warden. Hello. Okay. We don't have any totems. Um... This, oh, and we already have a person here. This might be kind of difficult, especially with this guy. Oh my god, this guy just... Holy cow! That is how much stronger Ezekiel is than this warden boss. Did you see how fast I killed that? That was insane! This Curly's Kasangi weapon is absolutely crazy, and combined with my strength level, I can kill things f***ing instantly. Alright, uh, I guess let's go kill other bosses too, now that we're incredibly strong. There's another boss is here. Which, of course, he is. Oh my god. I can't really kill this guy. Okay. Goodbye. That was easy as f and we got eight rubelite from that. That's insane. Granted, I don't really need rubelite that bad because I mostly just want skulk. But selling this rubelite, if we AH sell for like five hundred thousand dollars, oh now we have uh, five hundred thousand dollars that I can just have, and then we can look around and maybe, just maybe, there's some uh, there's some warden armor in here uh, that we can buy for that much money. I don't see any right now, but it's also just great to have a lot of money, you know? I guess we can just go back, um, back to that, uh, warden place and try and, I don't know, get some more skulk. Number two with this bastard. Bring down just a little bit for me. That's insane. That's insane. That's crazy! That was even faster than last time, and we got so many skulk ingots from that. Oh my god. Again, I hope that proves to you the level of strength that Ezekiel and the Soul Knight and Zedri all possess. Like, I just killed that Warden boss. In the beginning, that Warden boss would take me hours and hours and hours and hours of work to kill. And I just did it in probably about 10 seconds right now. Like, it, it's, it's, it's insane. And uh, the Curly's Kasangi is also just insane. We don't have quite enough for a full set, but we do have enough for a chest plate. First of all, first of all, I just realized I had this. Um, if we go over, so I'm kind of all over the place right now. I'm super excited. That that took no time at all to kill. Um, if we get our warden chest plate out and we throw it in here, that looks dope, but not dope enough. That doesn't look crazy good either. What if we get like a like a? Ooh, this might look super good, or it's gonna look awful. I can't tell. What about iron? We have iron too, right? Iron, diamonds. Diamonds might look uh, good as well. Oh, diamonds look so good. Okay, what about iron? Iron looks eh. We'll go with diamonds though. That's a really good looking trim on this armor. Um, let's add that to the pants too with the diamonds again. Just try and keep things consistent. What would that look like on... Berserker, just out of pure curiosity, we might have a, yeah, we already have a silence gold. Silence diamond, it's the same thing, but blue. I could have predicted that. 
Yeah, the Warden armor looks insane, though. It's almost like Dragon Soul, but it's, like, thicker. It's, it's like I have a big Warden coat on. Either way, though, um, I say right now we go over to the uh, Warp End area, all right? Go over to the Warp End area, and we kind of see we can uh, see if this guy's here. No, okay. Um, so we can kind of just sit here and let the clock tick until this guy has spawned. Hello. Okay, um, that didn't do very much damage. This guy might actually take some, take some effort. This guy's hard to kill just because, like, when he raises his paws, like, you can't hit him, you know? Okay, let's try and hit his back legs. Back legs don't work. Just front legs. Those are the only hitboxes you can hit. Almost dead, almost dead, almost dead. There you go. Goodbye to ya. And we got four crystallite ingots. Okay. Sell these for 100k. And then sell these for 200k. No, wait. 300k. And we've got 6,200 levels as well. Let's go back. It's been it's been a while. It's been hours. Let's go back to the warden thing and see if there's a uh, warden spawn. Top of the morning to you. Yeah, we're getting really lucky with this. Throw a little fireball at that guy. Just lowers him immediately. That's the end of you. Five skulking gets. Unfortunately, that's not quite enough. So that's five skulking gets. And we can just... Actually, you know what? We might just... I might just stick with the Berserker Boots. We're going to have Slash Fly on them. Um, I don't really want to re-enchant that. So it might be better just to stick with the Berserker Boots. We put this on. The ears are gone, which looks a little funny. Um, and then the Berserker shoes honestly look weird with this. But that's fine. Um, I don't think I have any other armor enchantments. We're good, though. This is a good helmet. And I think at this point as well, the next step is to kind of update my... Uh, my levels by searching for more of those XP orbs. They're never easy to find at all. Um, they're always super hard to find, but they're worth it. Like I, I don't, I don't know if you guys can saw how fast I killed that warden, but that was insane. So if we can do that, if we can like do that again to the point where we can kill uh, Ezekiel that fast, that would be great because Ezekiel, Ezekiel is a bastard. All right, Ezekiel will kill me instantly if I don't have the absolute best stuff in the world. Um, Another thing is, unfortunately, right now, Trench is disabled, so that creates a little bit of a, an, an issue, a big issue, actually. Um, the surface area of what I mine is going to be nothing, right? Like, there's, I, it's going to take way longer, simply because I'm, I'm going to have to mine way more. So we're just going to start down here, I guess. I'm just going to kind of go for it. It's pretty lame that Trench is disabled, but we're going to do our best even though we don't have it. Another thing, these things are about as rare as it gets. And I had a lot of time last time. I don't have a lot of time this time, so I might only find one, maybe two, if we're lucky, maybe two. Um, all right, it's been a little bit. I've got a lot of money. Uh, let's look at the balance, $920,000. Hold on, I'm gonna have to go look at my other recording because I have no idea what I was doing. We were mining for those XP orbs. That's what we were doing, I remember now. Um, those are gonna be hard to find. And I I don't really know even where to begin, especially with that trench. I mean, we, let's just go for it, I guess. All right, I've got a little, um, a little surprise here. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, we gotta run. There's, uh, there's like a lot of TNT there. It's probably gonna lag me maybe just a little bit. Oh, Jesus. Not as bad as I... Th it's, it's not as laggy as I thought it'd be. But oh my God. Like, Jesus Christ. And like, I'm sure if I get close enough, it'll just start... Oh, yeah. Boom. Look at that. Holy shit. It's done. And that was insane. I think, to be honest, we decimated every inch of this place by doing that. And there was really no point. Because I think everything got destroyed. Any, any chest in the proximity of this and all of its contents probably got completely wiped out but to be honest it's kind of what i expected this really isn't the most efficient way of doing things i don't think and so from now on we're probably just gonna stick to uh stick to mining okay that's a chest and it has toughness orbs oh here we go okay, it's only two really must be at a really high level already i kind of need a little level upgrade with toughness let's see 
We're at 366. Now we're at 369. So what if we just spam that shit right there? 395. Honestly, I'm. I, it's pretty hard to find this. I don't know how much more we would be able to get out of it, but maybe we keep going anyway. Hello again. Another chest. This time we have strength orb. Just update all of these right off the bat. Let's see stats. Uh, how much we have? One thousand. Over a thousand. Wow. Okay. Um, I think we can go ahead and call it there. Frankly, I think we have enough of everything at this point. So yeah, I think it's time to kill Ezekiel. We've done quite a bit of work on everything. I've got warden gear now, and we've got a bunch of uh, of, of leveled up skills. So, but I, I think we're ready for this. The other thing we need is going to be totems in the auction house. Uh, wow, that's a lot of crystallite. We're going to need some totems. In the, only 250? Hell yeah. Only 250k, and then I can go back and say, okay, AH sell. 600k. Just reselling it immediately at a much higher price. I feel like 250k for that many is kind of a bargain. Yeah, I'm not really seeing any totems of undying. Oh, wait. 100,000. Screw that. No, we really only have the one. Maybe we could make a raid farm. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure about that. It would be really nice to have totems. It would. But a raid farm is kind of difficult to make. Here, let's just skip a D hop and let's go look for maybe like an ocean. Actually, we can just RTP out till we find a good ocean. It's probably one near here. Okay, yeah, this is a pretty good spot, actually. I should probably pull up a video on um, how to actually make a raid farm. Okay, it looks like we're going to need some blocks and i don't know if i have any oh wait hold on we have we have a little dirt let's just jump off here and, and go grab some real quick we'll be able to get exactly what we need from right here okay we need some um some slabs as well we need two stacks and two spent uh covered on that what else do we need 11 building blocks all right covered on that we need a bunch of bone meal just buy a bunch of Freaking bone meal from here. We get three stacks from that, and we need that much. Uh, just put the rest in like a chest. Uh, and there are any leaves as well. So if you go over to the shop again, blocks, and just kind of scroll over. You know, what about decorations? No leaves and decor. That's fine. Fuck you too, buddy. Buddy boy. We're good. We are. We're good to go. Look at this shit. Ready? Ooh yeah. Leaves. You cross the leaves off the list. And then we're also going to need some sticks, which should be pretty, pretty easy. Yeah, let's just craft a bunch of fucking buttons. That would suck. Uh, we need 24 ladders, though. And we already have 12. Perfect. Okay, 24 ladders. Not bad. Uh, 11 building blocks. We, yep, we already got that. Seven boats. Seven boats. I'll have to do that at some point later. That's kind of a pain in the ass. We shouldn't need it immediately anyway. Um, chests. We need three chests. So we get two. One more is three. Perfect. We have three chests. Uh, two signs. I need wood. I need wood. All right. Two signs. Uh, one water bucket and then one lava bucket. So that's just two buckets. We can get those on the spot. Uh, one villager. Oh, shit. Um, shop. How much would a villager egg cost? 15,000. Oh, that's easy. No contest there. One button. I feel like we had four more wood though. No? Oh, yeah, we do. Way more than four wood as well. I didn't even see this. Um, but we can definitely make a button out of this. We got a spruce button. Um, and a composter. Imposter, whatever. Imposter. One hopper. Um, we should have a bunch of iron. We also are going to need a chest as well. So we're going to grab a chest too. Two of this. Craft that into a goddamn chest. Perfect. Okay. Make this. All right, and then we need kelp, too, uh, which should be easily bought through here. We can just buy a singular kelp. Okay, that, honestly, that should be it. That should be absolutely everything we need. So I'm just going to go home, home, wait, where is it back? Oh, crap, I think we lost the ocean. That's fine. There are a lot of oceans in the world. We can just find another one. All right, this should do right about here. And I guess let's get to it. All right, ladies and gents, it is done. The machine is complete. We have a raid farm now. Um, but the next step, unfortunately, actually, the first next step is 
get rid of this bullshit here. And we gotta, okay, I didn't mean to do that. Um, we have to get rid of this. Okay. Let's jump up here. Right here. Got to mine all the way down. All right. Okay, you know what? I just realized I didn't add a villager. That's probably the most important part, and I completely forgot it. So yeah, we got to do that. Like, we have to cover this up. We have to get the villager in there. Which, for me, is easy as fuck. Right in the compost. I've never seen that before. What if I hit you? No, nothing? Okay. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Anyway, another issue that I uh, usually encounter when I'm when I'm doing this is the, um, the outpost. Right? The outposts are... That's super annoying. Um, the outposts are, are, are very, are very rare. Um, and... I don't know how I'm gonna find one. I think we just kind of go go out looking for it, I guess. I don't even really know where to begin with it. Oh, hello. I don't know if it's gonna spawn any pillagers. It looks a little overgrown almost, like geez. But ho hopefully, it, hopefully it will, I don't really know. Here's another one. And honestly, every single one that would be good is simply destroyed. So I'm not sure if pillagers are gonna spawn, but I think we should AFK here just to make sure. Okay, nothing spawned at that last one, but I think this one works. I mean, a pillager just spawned. It's it's not much. Maybe the light level needs to be lower. I honestly feel like that's possible. Either way, though, um, it's going to take a while, I think. Hello. I've been kind of AFKing here. I didn't realize. Uh, oh, we got a captain. Okay. So let's set a home here. Set home outpost. And then kill this guy. Bad omen. Look at that. Um, we can go to home, raid, and then we have to jump down, jump down here, land right in here. Hopefully the villager guy should be there. Okay, and then the raid should work. I kind of want to slow things down here. It seems like the raid's, like, powering up really slowly. I guess we just wait here and see if things work. Is that what I think it is? I think that's definitely what I think it is. Oh, there we go! There we go! Perfect! Okay. Do I have hostile creatures off? I do indeed. There we go. Okay. Let's turn that down. Jesus. Alright. So far, we are doing very well with totems. And these vexes are annoying as shit, by the way. Ugh. Yeah, they're impossible to hit. I hate them. I hate them so much. I think we have enough stuff to fight Ezekiel. We got a bunch of XP orbs. We made a raid farm. And we should be ready. Spawn, okay, tavern, and then it's behind there. You can even see the little bits, bits and bobs of the nether thing through the through the actual ground. All right, seeing some signs. There we go, here's the cave entrance. All right, I think I'm ready for this. Ladies and gents, welcome to Ezekiel. And I forgot, we have to wait. We have to wait a long time for this guy to spawn. Hello. Don't know what's with the boss bar there. It looks like the, the Ezekiel will go low. Can't be right. What the hell? I don't know why every time I get hit, I can always fly afterwards. It's kind of weird. Maybe it's like a perk I get. Oh my god, she's almost dead. I don't know. I don't know how she spawned like this. It's kind of weird, actually. Okay. Uh, that, I feel like, did not... Why did it give me Rubelite? That's... Not what should have happened. Interesting. Okay. Rubelite is not what we should have gotten. We should have gotten a Firestone. And also, why did she spawn at such low health? I guess we're gonna have to wait a little while longer and wait and see if she spawns again. Um, and hopefully this time with, with more to show. We, oh my god, we're at 9,000 levels. Okay, that's insane. Yeah, I really hope that uh, nothing's broken. We can sell this for probably 100k. Um, I guess we just go wait over here and, and see if... See if she spawns again. We can heal our armor in the meantime and whatnot. Hi. I didn't, I swear to God, I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> Either way though, Ezekiel has spawned. Um, which means that it's, it's, it's time. It's our time to shine. I can barely get hits on this girl without dying. So she's just like crazy. Oh God, yes, this is what I'm talking about. 
What is this bullshit? What if we had a shield? What if we had a shield? Let's go um, home home. Would a shield do anything for me? Like, would it help me at all? I want her to hit me, and I want to see what it... Oh, hi. What if I just... Nothing? Nothing from you? Oh, you want to fight me, do you? Come on. Yeah, you better run. Get the f*** out of here. Hey, girl boss. Hey, queen. She's not even defending herself. What's going on? Oh, yeah. Look at this. She's glitching out. Oh, yeah. We're just going to farm her. Oh, okay. Okay. She let me get her down low, but she wasn't going to let me get her low enough. Which is fine, you know? Die! Die! Oh, yes! You're distracting her for me! Please do that! Yeah! Oh. Oh, God. I thought, I thought that was Ezekiel that died, but no, it was the player. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Firestone! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! But I, I think my chest plate's just gone. We've got 11,000 levels, though, so we should be fine. Um, we've got a... We've, so we've got a Firestone. So if we go to each chest... And we look in here. We've got a Firestone. Take this as well. Got a Firestone and a Azurite Stone. Now, we need a bunch of... Who are you? We need a bunch of these things in order to in order to summon Zedri. We're almost there. I think we need like like 20 or 30 more. It's it's a lot. But the point is, we're going to need a lot more. The other thing was there were meteorite. Meteorite structures scattered around the world. I think there are only a couple though. They're very rare. Why are, do people keep mentioning me? We have Crystallite. Um, so we can just make a chest plate out of that right there. And be totally fine. Booyah. Okay. You know, we got a little bit of everything. We got Berserker, Warden, and Crystallite. There's nothing wrong with that, you know? Let's sell this for two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars $300,000. right? And then we can sell this for $400,000. And then, um, a Crystallite chest plate. Do we have any over a shop? Maybe we have some, some lapis waiting for us here. Look at that. We do. That's crazy. Okay. Got four. I'm breaking three. You know what? We'll just take that. Usually I wouldn't, but it's fine. We are all good. And then we can just put this on. Let's put some custom enchants on there a little later. Uh, but for now, for now, actually for now, we got to, we got to get our trims. Where are our trims at? There we go. There are our trims. Okay. Um, perfect. Okay. That looks good. Oh, that looks sexy. Okay. Um, I think we're ready to go ahead and start looking for the meteorite structures. These are going to be hard to find. Um, but I think if we do what we usually do when we start at the world border, work our way in and just kind of like get around that way. I think we'll be good. Should be good to go. Um, I think it's time we leave. Get the hell out of here. Uh, RTP might be better because I do want to go to the world border. Um, and I hope that we can get there. Okay. Hello. Here's the world border. And just, we're just going to go alongside this, all right? Flying alongside it um, in one direction for forever, actually. It's like a goddamn lava fall right there. Wow. Oh, this looks like a meteor. There's rubelite as well. We have rubelite too here. Let's block up some of this lava. That way we don't break any of the rubelite on accident. For oh, we have fortune on this one. Okay. Is there any any other rubelite per chance? Oh, hello. More rubelite? I am down with that. AH cell, five hundred thousand dollars. Um, unfortunately, I don't know where it would be. It could be directly underneath. Um, so we can try that. Like, maybe it's really deep down. I don't really know. Directly underneath would make the most sense. Let's just build in, like, a like a little... A little um, I don't know. What would this be? Like, 4x4 four four almost thing? Fucking nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, let's... Uh, oh, we can just fly. I think it lights just faster. Okay, um... So it wasn't directly underneath, which makes sense. Let's let's think logically, okay? The way it looks, it looks like it came at an angle. So I feel like the item could be at an angle too. Because if you remember right with the swords, like the sword was stabbed vertically into the ground. So it was just like like the 
chest was just directly underneath the tip. This was not uh, anything vertical at all. Okay, the clouds have got to go. Hello, okay. So I was, I was right for the most part, I think. I, I don't think it's that great of an angle. No, maybe that was right. I don't know. Either way, this is the Firestone right here. And we, I think that makes two now. Uh, if we look on our inner chest, dos, dos Firestones. Okay, um, that is one meteorite down. I don't know how many there are, but we're probably going to have to travel pretty far for the next one. I think we had to travel a couple million blocks for this. It's probably going to be a similar amount of blocks for the next one as well. I think that's another one. Yep, damn straight. Oh, God. Oh, I'm fire resistant. I'm fucking God. Switch to this back axe. Good thing we did that. Last second. Uh, last time there were three, so I'm feeling like there are three again. So far, that theory's holding up. I don't know how we got ten last time. We only got five this time. It's kind of strange. Either way, though, um, let's just block up some of this lava because we are going to mine through um, all of it. And mine through this whole area. Now we kind of know uh, we have a gist of where the uh, the chest will be. Just like this. Like right underground like this. Oh. Okay. That's another firestone. Okay. We have three. Um, I'm not sure how much we need. Let's go home or spawn. Uh, I think there's a trader guy at spawn. Um, and he'll trade with these. We just have to look around and kind of find it. Um, I also want to sell. Sell this for $200,000. Let me look at my balance. 766, worth the same. Um, okay, so we know that Ezekiel spawns in there. And then we know that uh, we, we don't actually know much else. <laughs> That's about it. There's traders. There's, but we know that there's traders. We know that there are traders um, somewhere, somewhere in here. I think we have someone around here. I think we got a little guy. Okay, that is um, Amulet of Fire. Okay, uh, I think that's what we were trading for. Um, so if we do slash each chest, we get three fire stones. Actually, why not just round up one? Why not just make it four? Probably because I'm not strong enough for that. But you know what? Fuck it, okay? Uh, I have these coordinates saved. So if we go over to home, home three, just real quick, one more last hurrah for the boys, okay? I don't know why it's for the boys. There's no, not really any boys. Um, just get rid of all this stuff. I killed a bunch of people as well, by the way. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it was off camera. I went in the nether, and uh, I was, like, greeting some fans. And I kept, like, shifting at them like this, which activated a power, and it just murdered everyone. It was horrifying and funny at the same time. Oh, we are not going to have to wait. Okay, Ezekiel's already here, already spawned in. Um, okay, I guess we can just go straight for it. Probably start by, you know, clothing ourselves. And make sure that we're not just gonna walk in here and, and, and die fucking immediately. Ezekiel's gotta be somewhere around here. Oh, I found her. I found her, she's right there. Oh God, oh God, okay, okay. She's not happy, not happy at all. Okay, uh, this chest plate's about to break. Do we have mending on it? We don't have mending on it. We're fucking idiots. Oh yeah, doing crazy damage here. Crazy damage. Look at that. Alright, come on, come on. Oh dear god. Oh! Okay. That... Th that's kind of a shocker. That's everything, except my most valuable items, which are the fire stones and the azurite stones. I just lost everything, except my XP levels. My XP levels stayed for some reason. Everything's gone, incur including Curly's Kusangi, which was, I want to say vital. It was vital to getting, to killing, it, it was vital to killing Zidri. But if you look here, I feel like there's another way we can get it. I feel like there is. Um, and so we're gonna, we're gonna have to do that. I don't know how, we'll figure it out. This kind of sucks. 